Hey, what's up guys? This is Freaky Bonfa back with another amazing tutorial. And this time on my Patreon in June 2023, I talk all about different crazy science laboratory setup with Cinema 4D Pyro setups. Okay, so you can see I mix red smoke and blue smoke here to get some purple smoke in the middle. And I do all kinds of cool stuff here. I just started with the topic, but the idea is to create a little asset kit this month for you with some of these elements. By the way, this is just a reference image, but right now I'm building some of these elements in 3D and just want to turn them into my own shapes, but then share them with you so you can mix all kinds of colored smoke here. And because I know that still images totally bore you, this is why I also created some animations here. You can see that the green smoke is kicking in, the purple smoke, and then you get some pinkish white smoke. Okay, so this is also some really good lessons for you to understand the physics of nature because I had no idea that you will get almost like a white smoke when you mix green and purple. Okay, so quite some learning effect here and you can see that you can make all kinds of cool stuff here. So let's just pipe in some pyro here and do some funny stuff with it. Of course, these elements, they will be shared on my Patreon. And as I said, I'm creating more of these elements for you so you can get pretty wild with it. Also in June on my Patreon, you will get some crazy soft body knowledge okay so you can see these ones they are just going really crazy i really like this one i will also talk about the shaders and stuff art direction and all of the good stuff but soft bodies are also a nice topic for this month okay but for now i definitely want to focus on pyro and here on YouTube, we will also build this setup here and we'll have some fun. Just be sure that you can right now start a free trial on my Patreon for seven days. After this, it will turn into a membership if you don't cancel it and if you like my content, but you can check everything out for seven days for free. So there are over 200 tutorials, 120 scene files and all of the good stuff. So if you want to check my Patreon, start a trial, download some files and have some fun. But other than that, now on YouTube, let's have have some fun with the setup here and just mix two different smokes together and create something awesome. Okay, let's get started. Just one thing that I almost forgot. If you like my tutorials here on YouTube, just be sure to ring the bell, do the good stuff, maybe even want to write me a comment. Then I always feel important and amazing and it helps the algorithm. So yeah, just do it and we both feel amazing. Okay, so thank you and let's continue with the tutorial. All right, finally in Cinema 4D and I want to start with this scene here. This one will be shared on my Patreon. You can just start a free trial there and download the file. Okay, and when I press NB, then you can see that this element has quite a good topology to work as a clean collider to get good collision detection and stuff like that. So this is working like a charm here. And because I don't want to see this one all the time, I will make this one invisible and just activate the spline here to see my outside border. So in that case, I just traced it with a spline here just to see it visually so that this one will be not distracting in the viewport. And by the way, on the collider is collider tag right click on it, go down to simulation tags, select the collider tag, put it onto your collider. And then I want to set this one to back because I want to catch the smoke inside of it. We want to emit smoke from up here, which is going down. And the other element here will emit smoke upwards. So I think we just want to start with this element here, which is called top, right click on it, go to simulation tags, and then set the pyro emitter on it. Okay, perfect. I just want to move this one over here a little bit. And these ones are the settings in the pyro emitter. But what is also quite important is when you press control D and go to simulation pyro, then you have this overall setting here, which are really important. This is why I just click on this element here to create a second attribute manager, put it into my layout, make this one a little bit smaller. And this one is already set to lock it on these parameters. So this will now stay consistently in this menu of the simulation pyro settings, which are pretty important. For example, the voxel size, which starts with five. So when I would reset everything here to the default values, you can see you start with five. And now when I make a simulation, I'm pretty sure that this one will be super ugly. Okay, but let's just try it when we 
click on simulation, then I think this one should also look like this in your simulation, which doesn't work that great, right? So first we need to decrease the voxel size. So maybe we just half this one. Let's double check it. Okay, looks more interesting, but definitely not what we are going for. So maybe one first thing that we want to change is that the direction is going downwards in an angle like this one. Okay, so we want to go minus one in the y axis and a little bit of a direction direction into minus x axis. This is why I just go to my pyro emitter tag here, go down to velocity. And how about we just set this one to an absolute velocity? How about something like 2000 minus one and minus point three, for example. So this now will give me a direction that is going minus in the y axis. So going down and a little bit like minus three in the x axis. So this is giving me a good angle for my smoke simulation but you can see a secondary problem that a lot of the smoke is going outside of our collision object out of our beautiful element here. So this is also not what we want. Therefore, let's go one more time into the pyro emitter. Let's go upwards here and you can see when this one is checked to a surface emitter, then you will have something like a calculated thickness around your emission element here, a radius of 10, for example, which is way too much here because then it will get out of the borders. So so you could definitely just delete this one and now the smoke will be only emitted in the volume but now you don't get so much smoke so I think we can keep this one but just set this one to two for example so let's just double check it so I think this one is already way better but already we detect another problem here so now the smoke is pretty early just dissipating and you can't see any smoke anymore okay so I already set the magic word here let's go to this in the simulation settings and honestly let's just kill everything here and set everything to zero all right now you can see that the smoke is going down here but still the smoke is dissipating here so I think we need to change something else let's go to the pyro emitter and okay so we definitely want to add some density and we want to set this one to one and we don't want to add every frame to it a certain amount we want to just keep this one constantly at a value of one. And um, I think this one is just a better setup in that case. I will explain this stuff more on my Patreon where I dive deeper into that stuff. But for now here on YouTube, let's just keep this one really simple. I also don't want to emit temperature. I don't need fuel. So this is already deactivated. We only want to have velocity, some density and maybe also some color. So why don't we just set this one to a red smoke, for example. Okay, so hopefully now when we simulate this one you will get a lot of smoke it is pretty dark here okay but you can definitely see it has this reddish tint and when we render it then the whole smoke will be beautiful in red and not that dark so let's not worry about all of the black values here but you can see that the smoke still is dissipating here so let me just double check this one Okay, so we are on a good start. I think we should already decrease the voxel size to 1.5, for example. And now you can see we also get a lot more smoke. And this one is a really good start here. What I don't like is the tiny curse and all of that stuff. So I think we can perfectly live without any turbulence which would be calculated on top of the simulation and we don't need to have any vorticity which will cause all of these tiny micro curls so when i would get rid of both of these values then i think the simulation will be more like some maybe some ink in a fluid like water and stuff okay and this is definitely what i want to go for so this is like this liquid smoke and i think this is already looking pretty nice i want to even go down with the voxel size to 1.2 for example let me double check this one and i think we are up for a really good start here of course you can tweak all of the different parameters but i think this is already not that bad what i did in my simulation is to also put some smoothing in the velocity and density but let's just see if this one will change it to the better these values of course they also are heavily dependent on the voxel size but now you can see see that overall the simulation is 
more smooth and I think this is a good thing but this is totally up to you. I also used some velocity smoothing. I think I even used something like 80 and 20 like this one but I think this one is really heavily dependent on the voxel size that you are going for. So I think right now with a voxel size of 1.2 these numbers they are working already pretty nice. I think because we want to have this even more beautiful let's just go down to one and of course now it's getting slower and slower and of I think for my final simulation I put this one to maybe 0.5 or even slower but now you can see all of these beautiful curves here and I think we are on a really good track here. So how about we just put the same emitter onto the bottom one okay set this one for example to some bluish tint and let's just see how this one is looking all right we get the red smoke and the blue smoke both of them are coming in let's just wait a little bit more until we have a frame where they are mixing together so now they start to mix with each other of course the simulation now gets slower and slower with each frame but I think it's still pretty good on the speed side okay so now you want to see this one rendered and therefore you need a pyro output object in general when you start a new scene this one will be generated automatically but in my case somehow it didn't appear so I will press ctrl d to go to the commander and type in pyro and you can already see here is the pyro output object we need this one to render the pyro and what we want to use in the render is the density and the color okay we don't need the temperature and the velocity now we also need a material and you can see I already have a pyro volume in my scene but let's generate this one from scratch so go to redshift material material pyro volume and put the pyro volume onto your pyro output. All right, so I fire up the Redshift render viewer here and you can see that I just have some simple lights in my scene and an HDRI dome and now the smoke is calculating. It looks a little bit strange because I think when I go into my render settings then you can see that my settings are pretty low so I just set the bucket quality to low and I also activated some denoising which makes it a bit smooth here but this is just for a fast feedback here and this is how it is looking right now so you can see definitely the smoke is coming in but we don't have the color inside of it so let's go into our pyro volume here let's unfold the rs volume and now you can see that the pyro volume basically already set some channels up for you so you have the density in the scatter this is fine we also have some emission here but I think honestly we don't need to have any emission because we don't work with temperature here so this is not important for us but we only want to work with smoke and we also want to color the smoke so let's go to the color channel let's unfold this one go to pyro output and put the color into it hopefully now you will see that now the smoke will be colored red and blue and you will get some mixing here but it is way too dark okay so you need to just play with these values a little bit I think when I set this one to six maybe all right then you can see that we just change the brightness of it you can see the colors more and you can also play with the absorption here for example let's just see when we have this one then the smoke will be more see-through okay so you could balance this one again when you for example put Put this one to 3 and this one to 0 0.5 okay then you will already see some beautiful shading here but I think I want to maybe keep this one at 6 all right and maybe this one at 1 let's see this one okay let's put this one to 0 0.7 all right this is better and I think for now I just want to quickly get rid of the denoising it's a bit distracting for me of course now you can see the noise of the calculation but this is fine and let let me just set this one to medium for now but what is really distracting me here is everything is working pretty nice but we have some ugly artifacts in the scene so for example you can see this one and I think these white artifacts here they are just dependent on the color channel and right now I'm still trying to find the magic numbers here which work great to get rid of that stuff but for now at least you can see this one is ugly so you could for example just clamp this one just 
just a little bit move this one over and now you can see you got rid of almost all of these ones and then for example when you now render your glass element here around it then this will look perfectly clean you only see the smoke and the beautiful glass and you already have a beautiful rendering so this is one solution to get rid of these artifacts once again when i move this one over then you get this artifacts of the smoke where the color just is clamping to a white value i guess so i think we should just move this one over a little bit and then you will have a clean smoke here maybe one thing that you can also try is to go to your pyro emitters here i want to select both of them and not sure if i'm telling anything wrong here as i said i'm learning this also right now and need to learn a bit more about different parameters but i'm just curious when i put the sub steps here of my emitter to five and for example i also go to the simulation here and set the pyro where you see also to five i want to stop it around here and let's just see if we still have these artifacts okay and it seems like they are still there so yeah this is something that is annoying me okay so you can see them here so let's just clamp them once again and of course it also helps when you see the glass in your scene when you activate this one then you will not really notice any errors there and this is looking beautiful and for the final settings here i just went down with the voxel size to 0 0.5 and now just look how extremely beautiful this is looking okay what a beautiful noise pattern we have here it looks so amazing I really love it okay and in that case with the decreased voxel size here I increased some velocity smooth factor of 70 and just in case I don't know if it's really relevant but I got rid of the gravity here I'm not sure if it had an impact on the simulation but anyway this one is on zero and now this is looking so beautiful and let me just double check if we still have the artifacts here when we put the black back here to the zero value and now it looks like okay some tiny issues some really tiny issues so once again move this one over ever so slightly but now this is so beautiful no artifacts at all let's activate the glass around it and now it is up to you to create some amazing renderings this was just an introduction to this topic here on my patreon in june okay so i have a lot of different ideas and i also work on this little kit of assets i want to create these different elements so you can make all kinds of crazy tests for example put some green smoke in here some yellow and some pink and then mix it up here or just put these elements together and create all kinds of different test setups okay so this will be just one of the topics in june on my patreon you already know that you can start a free trial for seven days after this this will turn into a monthly membership if you don't cancel it if you really like the content okay and of course i also want to talk about soft bodies crazy stuff like this one and simulate it and yeah it will be just an amazing month thank you so much for your time i hope you learned something here see you in the next tutorial bye everyone